Hello through the screen, my name is Melanie Smith, and I'm a proud member of the Windermere High School FFA chapter. And I'm currently serving as your Orange County FFA Federation Sentinel. I'm a Florida girl born and raised, and I live on a beautiful piece of property. I love to invite my friends over to enjoy an ice cold glass of lemonade and to share some chips and guacamole. But as the coronavirus has hit, it has been difficult for us to get together and enjoy those fun times. But as things are opening back up and it's easier for us to gather together, I am excited to share my favorite guacamole recipe with you that you can share with your friends and family. In order to do so, you're going to need the following ingredients. For your guacamole, you're going to need three soft avocados. You're going to need some bell peppers. Today we will be using orange, yellow, and red bell peppers. You're going to need a quarter cup of tomatoes diced. You're going to need a teaspoon of shallots and one half of a lime. And fun fact, I grew this on my own key lime tree in my backyard. And to taste, you're going to want some salt and pepper. And of course, some chips that you can enjoy it with. For your lemonade, you're going to need lemons, granulated sugar, and water. Now in order to make your guacamole, you're going to need the following things. For sanitary purposes, you will need hand sanitizer, gloves, and paper towels for any messes that may occur. You want some measuring cups or measuring spoons to make sure you're using the right ingredients for your guacamole. You're going to need a knife to cut your vegetables. And you're going to need anything that can mash or mix all of your ingredients together. For your lemonade, you're going to need a lemon squeezer or you can squeeze with your hands and make sure to have a pitcher and cups handy that you can pour for your friends. Now the first thing you're going to do whenever you make a guacamole is you're going to grab your avocado and you're going to cut it. Now to cut an avocado, it can be kind of tricky. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to cut in the middle of it until you hit the pit. You know that you hit the pit whenever you can't go any farther into the avocado. And then you're going to make a 360 against that pit, all against the avocado. And as you do so, what you're doing is you're loosening the avocado from the pit that is inside. And the pit is essentially the avocado seed. Once you have made a 360 all the way around your avocado, you can go ahead and put your knife down. And then you're going to separate it. And whenever you separate it, you should have a beautiful pit right there in the middle. Now to get your pit out, you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to circle it and it should pop right out like so. My family and I like to plant things so what we're going to do is we're going to keep this pit and we're going to put it in the cup right here and we can plant it for the future. Now the next step in our guacamole is to take the avocado out of its skin. Now to do that you're going to take your spoon and you're going to line it at the skin at the bottom of the avocado and then you're going to scoop it out. And since we're using soft avocados, it's easier to do, which is why I recommend using soft ones as opposed to hard ones. And then it should pop right out just like this. And then you can go ahead and set the skin to the side and put your avocado into your mixing bowl. And you're going to go ahead and do the same with the other side. Now I have already prepped and I have two other avocados in the mixing bowl already. So this is just showing you how to put the avocado into your mixing bowl. Once you have your avocados in there, we can go ahead and we can move on to our tomatoes. Whenever I cut my tomatoes, I like to cut off this top piece, and then I cut it in half, and then I cut it in fourths. And then I'm going to dice it up into the smallest pieces that I find comfortable for my preferences. I already have them pre-cut, so this is my quarter cup of my tomato. I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the mixing bowl with my avocado. Next, I'm going to cut my shallot. A shallot is essentially a super tiny onion. So you're going to cut it just like you would an onion, but you're going to treat it like it were tiny. So whenever you cut it, you're going to cut the top off and you're going to cut off this back piece. And then you're going to dice it up until you have a teaspoon. I also have that pre-cut and it's right here. I'm going to add it into my mixing bowl. And now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to mash all of this together. I'm going to use my masher. And as you mash, you, um, your avocado will mix together and it should get sm a smooth consistency. According to 
Dermatologist.com. Their avocados are very beneficial to your skin because they have oils in them that are very good for dry skin and it makes you more moisturized. So this avocado recipe is very healthy because there's no fattening ingredients in it and you won't har be harmed in it from it from any way. So now that you have the consistency of guacamole, you're going to add everything to taste that you would like. So for example, salt and pepper, not everybody wants as much salt as the other person. So I'm just going ahead, going to go ahead and add what I would like. It's good. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my pepper. And a lot of people have sh uh, struggles with these grinders because sometimes they'll turn the wrong way. So you want to make sure that you're turning to the right and that the excess peppers are coming out. And now you're going to do the same thing for your lime. You're going to take your lime and you're going to cut it in half. And then you're going to cut it into a fourth. This is what it looks like in half and now you're going to cut it into a fourth. That way it's easier to squeeze into your guacamole. We're going to squeeze. And we're going to do the same thing here. And you can put these off to the side. And now you're going to go ahead and mix everything together to make sure all the ingredients are consistent throughout your guacamole. What we're going to do with our bell peppers is use them like a cup for our guacamole. So we're going to take this red pepper here and we're going to cut the seeds out of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a 360 around the top and all of the seeds should come out with it. And it's all attached there. So now you're going, I'm going to keep these seeds so I can plant them later. I'm going to put them in the cup with my avocado pits. And now I'm going to use this just like a cup and I'm going to put my guacamole in it. That way, whenever your friends come over, you each have your own individual serving. You don't have to fight over the bowl of guacamole because it's so delicious. And then you just put it on the plate and do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing with my yellow bell, bell pepper. And the same thing with my orange one. And for serving purposes, I'm going to go ahead and line up some of the tortilla chips around the plate. You may want to keep the bag handy because you're going to eat so much of it, the chips are going to run out. Now that you have your delicious guacamole together, now you're going to need your drinks put together that is going to wash it all down. So for your, for your lemonade, you're going to take every one cup of lemon juice and, comp and you're going to mix it with one cup of water and one and a half cups of granulated sugar. So to squeeze your lemon, you're going to go ahead and cut it in half. And like I said, you can squeeze it manually, but to use the squeezer, you're going to put it in like so. And then you're going to squeeze it into whatever container that you have for your lemonade. Today I'm using this pitcher. And once you have the amount that you need, you can go ahead and pour it into your cups and you can serve. So once the coronavirus has calmed down and we can all get together and we can share these wonderful moments, I can't wait to get back with my friends and I can't wait to share these snacks and these uh, delicious drinks and I hope that you will do the same with your friends and family. Thank you so much. My name is Melanie Smith and once again I'm from the Windermere High School FFA chapter.